good Saturday morning to you here on 104.9 WFIW and WFIWRadio.com. It's time for Saturday Sunrise. I'm Derek Dunn, your host, and you can always go to our community calendar event page online at WFIWRadio.com. It is updated daily and available 24-7. And uh, this is an event that my friends and I have been going to for the past several years, but I want to highlight it because... It is just that good of an event. Uh, this is going to be happening over at Mount Vernon as, at the C.E. Brim uh, Memorial Public Library. They're going to be having their New Year's Eve game night over there. And I've got uh, one of the members one of the uh, members over there at C.E. Brim uh, Memorial Public Library. And, uh, sir, could you please state your name and title for our listeners out there this morning? William Pixley. I'm the director of the library. All right. Well, uh, thank you very much for... Uh, Thank you very much for taking the time to talk to me here. Greatly appreciate it. And uh, could you uh, tell our listeners about how this event actually started? One of our board members is an active gamer. He suggested that we have a Saturday game day, and we do. Last Saturday of the month is usually a game day, 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. for all ages. Some of the people were a little tired. Some of the adults would wanted to have a game day just for adults. So we started up the New Year's Eve gaming at the library. And uh, how long has this been going on? You say for several years, is that right, as far as I know anyway? More than five years. And I'll tell you what, uh, this is something that my friends and I always look forward to. I uh, want to go ahead and mention again, it's on New Year's Eve. I was looking at the details of your guys' Facebook page. It uh, starts at 6 p.m. and will run through 2 a.m. So what are the details? What's in store for this event? Well, essentially we play board games, card games, and role-playing games. Now on the board games, of course, we've got the classics like Yahtzee, Clue, Scrabble. But there's been a bunch of new board games that have come out in the last 20 years. Uh, One of them will let you explore a haunted house. There's another one that lets you build a railroad. Um, Another one that lets you build villages and cities. Escape from Atlantis as it sinks. Or get a moose across the river. And, of course, many more. Yeah, and I was going to say, there's the board games, though, there's been, it's diverse. You know, of course, you have your classics, you know, like Scrabble, Clue, that sort of thing. But you have these other games that can last, really, up to a few hours. So there's there's a very diverse atmosphere, very diverse universe here of board games, actually, that are out there. Yes, there are. Now, some of the details. There will be drinks and food provided. We do ask you to call us at 242-6322 just to let us know how many people will be coming with you so we can get a good estimate on how much food and drink to have. Uh, Around midnight, we will provide hats, noisemakers, and sparkling grape juice for the New Year's Eve. Of course, being a library, there's no alcohol. Yeah, I was going to say, um, this is, you know, when people think of, uh, you know, New Year's Eve, they tend to think of alcohol, but we want to stress that this is a non-alcoholic event here. Yes, that's correct. We thought there's not enough non-alcoholic events in town, so we decided to do one for New Year's and also have one that's just gaming for adults. Yeah, I was going to say, too, uh, this is adults only. Again, this is the event. And uh, like I said, again, it's been going for several years. There's a non-alcoholic event. So, and there's for, for, actually, it's the food is free along with the drinks, free admission. You just bring yourself over and bring a group of friends and just have a good time. If you'd like to bring something, uh, some food or drink with you, feel free to do so. As long as the drink's non-alcoholic. Exactly. Hey, uh, you're listening to Saturday Sunrise on WFIW AM and FM, Fairfield, Illinois, on 104.9, 103.3, as well as AM 1390. I'm Derek Dunn, your host here of Saturday Sunrise. i got Bill Pixley of the C.E. Brain Memorial Public Library over there in Mount Vernon, Illinois. They're going to be having their New Year's Eve uh, bash here where they're going to be playing board games and celebrate with food and non-alcoholic drinks here. Um, now, Bill, my question is, you know, I've been thinking back to last year's event as well as years prior, 
are there any changes for this year's New Year's Eve uh, event compared to last year's or in years past? Not really. It's uh, always been very successful the way it is, so we're basically going to keep it the same. Yeah, because I remember, like, you guys have, of course, you talk about the board games and the card games, that sort of thing. I remember there was also, like, a scavenger hunt one year, and I just didn't know if there was going to be any more changes to, like, the style, the format of the event. No. Because of, um, you know, you talked about the past several years, the success of this event. Um, because this event's been going on for several years, what has been the feedback like, you know, for those who have attended this event uh, before? They always seem to love it. Um, there are a large number of people who enjoy playing the newer board games, and we provide a place for them to play the games and play them with different people than they usually play with. I think for some people, it's like um, it's like you know whenever like basketball season's going on, it's like I'm going to use this analogy here, but it's like you know you have your own teammates and then you have the opposing team, and you may not know the members of that opposing team. But it's kind of like the same way here in terms of this event is where you could be you know playing games with someone that you don't even know. It's a good way to meet other gamers in the area. Yeah, and there's a lot of them, too. Um, so that's great to know about the feedback. Um, you know, we talked about, you know, the board games a little bit here, but in your mind's eye, what are the positives of having a diverse set of board games, card games, miniature games, role-playing games? You know, what, what do you think the positives are to that? Because there's a wide array of them out there. Yes, there is. Now... During our regular game day at the library, we have kids come in, and it's really useful for the kids because it teaches them how to follow rules and how to get along with other people. Also, some mathematics. For adults, it's primarily just an enjoyable time, um, a way to spend time with people that doesn't cost a lot of money. Yeah, and uh, like I said, it, you don't have to like, you know, it's not like you have to spend like 100 bucks or $200. Um, it's just where you just bring yourself again, bring yourself a group of friends, have a great time. And, and like I said, the atmosphere too, for that matter, I've, you know, I've noticed the atmosphere has been, has been awesome over there too. People seem to have a real good time. Alrighty, well, again, you're listening to Saturday Sunrise here on WFIWAM and FM, Fairfield, Illinois, uh, also online at WFIWRadio.com. Derek Dunn with you here, Bill Pixley alongside. And, uh, um, Bill, I was just wondering, you know, because of this event that's been going on over the years, um, have there been any other libraries in the area have contacted you about having a night similar to this, uh, similar to this style? No, uh, though a number of people have contacted their home libraries we get people from the town and throughout the county but also from other counties and they really haven't had too much luck we're about the only one in the area um i was going to say too because of um i'm just you know i mean this back this summer was our second annual board game uh, day that we held um, at actually uh, Mil down in Mill Shoals, Illinois, over there at the uh, community building down there. And uh, I tell you what, we it was inspired through this event that we started having a board game day. We had a great crowd turnout, in fact, more this year than last year. So you guys over there, I have to give you guys credit. You guys have planted a seed within us to host an event like this, and we had a we had a great turnout this year. We plan on doing it again next year. So we want to thank you guys over there for you know the inspiration and encouragement to have like a board game day. You know, in the summer, that's when we had it. So uh, let me know when the next one is. I'd like to come to it. All right, I certainly will, Bill. I certainly will. Hey, um, anyway, uh, this is a great event here again here, ladies and gentlemen. This is the C.E. Brim Memorial Public Library District over in Mount Vernon, Illinois, having their New Year's Eve bash again. Just want to mention the time. starts at 6 p.m. We'll run through 2 a.m. So you can uh, you can come there at 6 o'clock or 7, and, and you can stay up there till midnight, or maybe you got other plans uh, going on here. There's a lot going on in the area, of course, for New Year's Eve celebrations, that sort of thing. Um, but also want to mention too, though, is that it is non-alcoholic event. But if you feel like you want to bring some food and drink over, feel free to do that. Um, Bill, is there um, is there anything else you want to add on to it? Any uh, final thoughts about uh, this event? Our the phone number of the library is two four two 
And we do ask people call to let us know how many they're bringing with them so, again, we can judge on how much food to prepare. Alrighty, and um, I was going to ask you how can they uh, get a hold of you, but um, but what I'm glad is here, I'm glad that you guys are having this event again this year, and um, I've talked to people about events that have been going on for a span of several years, and one of the things they mentioned, too, is a continuity. They mentioned that, you know, continuous, you know, keeping it going, and for you guys to keep it going for several years, I mean, you know, success breeds success, and that appears to be that way. You guys always have a great turnout every year over there. Yes, we do, and thank you for the compliments. All righty. Well, Bill, again, thank you very much for your time here this morning on Saturday Sunrise. Greatly appreciate it, and again, hope there's a great turnout over there at the New Year's Eve uh, uh, board game party. Again, uh, there's going to be all kinds of board games, card games, miniature games, role-playing games over there. I know that draws quite a crowd from those in the Mount Vernon area as well as Fairfield and elsewhere. So appreciate your time this morning on Saturday Sunrise. Again, I hope that there's a great turnout for this on New Year's Eve. Thank you. All right, that was Bill Pixley over there to the C.E. Brim Memorial Public Library District over there in Mount Vernon, Illinois. Again, they're going to be having their New Year's Eve uh, celebration here of board games. Again, card games, miniature games, or role-playing games. Give them a call, 618-242-6322. Also, you can find them on Facebook as well as they do a great job of updating their Facebook page. Have a wonderful Saturday here. That wraps up Saturday Sunrise on this last Saturday of 2018. I'm Derek Dunn. Have a wonderful day and be safe this weekend.